Hi, and welcome to Party of Two Cruising. I'm Patrick, and today we're going to talk about free cruises. You go to the casino, you gamble quite a bit, and you get free cruises. But are they really free? You know the old saying, nothing's really free. When we come back from the intro, we're going to break it down and show you what a free cruise really costs you. So here are, welcome back, and here are some of my deals uh, that I get, okay? So I get quite a few deals. Uh, this goes on, and now remember, these just came out on March 4th at midnight there. Uh, pretty much the same deals that I had before, okay? Now, remember, you can get good deals, uh, reduced uh, deposits. You can get a reduced fare, just by being your diamond or your platinum or cruising a lot. But if you're not a gambler and you don't go into the casino a lot, you don't earn points, uh, you're not going to probably get these deals. Now, I noticed I told you they were free. And as you can see right here in the top line of this first one, uh, which is a free interior room, excludes his taxes, uh, port expenses, and deposit. Uh, and I get $200 in fun play credit. Okay. So those deals go on, and I get them all the time. Uh, Ocean View here, same thing. Drinks anywhere on the ship for me, $100 in free play. Uh, the perfect balance offer is a free interior room. Notice there is no free play on this one, but I still get those free drinks everywhere. Uh, and it's still a 15-drink uh, limit. I know people are going to ask that. Here I get a free balcony room, and this is what I generally look for is the free balcony rooms. Uh, especially if they have uh, uh, free play and stuff like that to go with them. Uh, but they're good deals because we love our balconies. Here is a, is a play, uh, a game time offer, uh, play my way free interior room with $500 of gambling money. Now, what I normally do, will do here is I will book this on the Paradise out of Tampa so I don't have to spend no money parking. I don't have to spend that much in gas. And I get to spend their $500 in free play, which could lead me to getting more cruises and taking some of their money. But I still get drinks everywhere included on the ship for her. I mean, for me. And um, But I still got to pay it. And this just goes on and on. And I don't want to bore you with all the deals that I get. Um, but let me talk a little bit about the cruise play repeat. This cruise play repeat offer is basically from the last cruise. I had two of them, one fell off because they don't last long. Um, I got this by gambling on the cruise. Uh, again, trying to recycle money, running it over and over through, getting enough points that you get these free rooms. I can't remember the last time I've used one of these because if you read my deals right above this, here I get a free interior room. I've still got to put my $200 deposit down. I get drinks on them. Uh, only while playing in the casino for me and a companion. So Terry could actually go in, we could sit in the casino, have our few drinks, and gamble a little bit. But it's really, to us, we really don't use them because we get so many of the other good deals. And as you can see, I mean, most of my deals are not high-priced at all. Some of the premier cruises, which you know there, the uh, casino stays open 24-7 unless you're in a port that doesn't allow it naturally and most don't um but here i get for for a hundred dollars and uh two hundred dollars in fun play i get this for a hundred dollars each uh which is a two hundred dollar basically a deposit because they keep calling them naturally as you can see here they keep calling them free but i have to put down that deposit and again that deposit is non-refundable so for example if i book this I am going to lose that $200 if I cancel or even try to move it. They generally won't work with you. They did during COVID, but they do not now. Okay. But as you can see, the deals go on. And then you have your limited time offers, which I usually don't pay too much attention to these uh, because they are kind of expensive as much as we cruise. So let's just go back up to the top here and let's just go ahead and pick one. And I'm going to show you how much. Uh, that you really do spend on a free cruise. 
Okay, so let's start off at the top. I have already spent $200 for the deposit. Again, non-refundable. I don't mind paying it because it gives us spending money because I get drinks everywhere on the cruise. Uh, Terry does not, so she wants to buy drinks. It gives us a little bit of spending money that we're going to spend anyway, but you have to add that $200 in that we've already uh, spent. So let's go ahead and click on this and get us a deal out of this. Okay, um, and it doesn't matter which one we pick. They're all going to be pretty much the same. So with this one, I get a free interior room, uh, $200 in front play credit, drinks on us anywhere on board the ship, uh, and then it just goes on and just tells you some of your other little stuff that you get. So let's just go down here and find a good one. They're all $100 again, so free. So let's just say, okay, we're going to go close to home, drive across the state, and we're going to go on the Liberty out of Canaveral. Now, this is a four-day, so your port charges aren't going to be too, too bad. And then we're going to start booking here for April 1st. Okay. Um, as you can see, we're going to pick two guests. So remember, everything is double occupancy. All right, so we're 55 years or older, and we're going to continue on. And notice here, the suites are sold out. I can get an interior. Uh, it's the only one I'm going to get on here. Now, if I was to pick a balcony room, and I can go back and show you that real fast. It's not that hard. Let me get back to it real fast. Uh, Let's just say that we we pick a balcony room. And then you're going to see that I get more choices because I can pick any of those rooms. Uh, so, for example, here's the balcony room. Let's just go ahead and do that one. All right. So, and let's just say there's a 12-day. Can't beat the deals. I mean, you cannot beat those deals. 11-day cruises for $100. Uh, an Alaskan one, which is, uh, I believe this is the one we are going on. And then we're going to Hawaii from there. Uh, but let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go on the Miracle and try to pick that. And you'll notice uh, the interiors and the ocean views are sold out. But normally that would have gave me all of those. But I wouldn't go to Alaska unless I had a balcony. But let's just go ahead and start doing the other stuff here. Uh, and notice now I can set it that didn't have any ocean view rooms, but it's giving me a price of eight twenty. 820 and, that's, and this has went up because it's a 10-day Alaska cruise okay um, so if we go ahead and just take our extended balcony you notice the any of the balconies are 820 obstructed view all of them are about the same regular balconies until you get to the premium obstructed view balcony which is way more and these vary from uh, all your uh, selections so we're going to select that we're going to go ahead and take the play and chill offer and we're going to continue and we're going to go ahead and just take out 5115 we're going to select the room here and notice it's a hundred dollars but look at your taxes and your port fees and expenses six hundred and nineteen dollars that's just for taxes fees and port expenses okay so that and then we should always pay our gratuities there's 320 more and then we're going to add vacation protection plan which now you have spent on a free cruise, $1,237.30. Okay. So let's go back. Okay. So now that we're back, let's just go back to that balcony room, but let's just book something sensible. Uh, that we're going to actually do. So let's just sail from either Tampa or Port Canaveral. All right, so we're back at our deals now. And let's just go ahead and pick something. Uh, let's just go ahead and get a, an ocean view room. Let's just sail out of Tampa. And we're going to try to make this as cheap as we can. Uh, we'll sail out of Tampa. We'll go on the Paradise. And here we have the Paradise, a four-day cruise or a five-day cruise. Let's just Throw it in the middle and then just pick going to Bimini and Nassau. Let's, uh, interiors are sold out. So we are going to have to go to an ocean view room. Uh, balconies are out of the question at this point because you can see that they go up. Let's go on April 15th of 2024. That's just here in about a month. We're going to pick two guests. Uh, we're going to continue. And notice my ocean view is 502, my balcony is 502, and my interior is 502. 
So why would we pick an interior room when we can get a balcony for 502? So here we're going to get this balcony and we're going to go ahead and select our room. So as of now, we have technically already spent, um, and we're going to go to the back, and we're going to just take E210, okay, and select that room, and we're going to select that room, and now it's going to show us our breakdown. Now, if you look at the breakdown, we spent $100 each for a deposit. That is basically non-refundable, so we've already spent $200 no matter what we do once we book this cruise. Our taxes, port fees uh, have gone up to $301. Now, we should always pay our gratuities, um, and then we should always add vacation protection. Now, I don't go through Carnival. Carnival's a little bit cheaper um, by about, uh, actually, they're not. Uh, I can get Berkshire Hathaway for $92, I think it is, for both of us. But let's just add that in. And now you've noticed what we have spent, $759. But go ahead and take that $200 away from that. And you've spent uh, actually $559. Because remember, you had a $200 on, on board credit that you're going to get from your deposit that you'll be able to spend on board. And you can use that for anything. The only problem is it is a use or lose it. Okay, so you got to spend it on board. If you say you're on your last day of your cruise and you still got $150 left, you haven't spent that much money and you want to get rid of it, you can't just go cash it out and say, I want my $150. Go ahead and go put it in a slot machine and take your chances or buy yourself something on the cruise. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. That is not like you put money on the, the uh, ship. Okay. Now, you also have to understand and remember other things that you're going to have to buy on this cruise is you're probably going to book an excursion. You're probably going to uh, tip extra probably on the ship. Most people do. Even if you don't book an excursion, you're probably going to get off in the ports, go get some drinks and some food. So you're probably really still going to spend that $759 easily on that free cruise. Okay? So just breaking it down again, you're going to spend money even on a free cruise. Are they great deals? Oh, absolutely. They're still great deals. Um, but they, they're they still going to cost you money no matter what. And when you cruise a lot, uh, that starts to add up when you're doing two cruises a month, sometimes three. Uh, it, it, it starts to get into the wallet a little bit. All right, so you, as you can see, as the old saying goes, nothing is really free. And uh, and also you got to remember too what I just showed you is pretty much going right out of Tampa or whatever those. So if you're flying in for your cruise or you're uh, driving a far distance, you still got to account for your fuel, more than likely your hotel. And uh, so we pretty much budget about a thousand dollars per cruise. Uh, again, depending on the length of it, uh, your longer ones could naturally be more expensive. All righty. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell. The next one up is the Carnival Vista. That's on March 9th out of Canaveral. And uh, that's an eight day to uh, San Juan, Amber Cove, St. Thomas and St. Martin. So we're looking at kind of relaxing on that one. So that's a long one. So anyway, we'll see you on the next time. And uh, thanks for watching Party of Two Cruising.